Hello everyone, and welcome to our Let's Play episode of Kenshi. This is Saik, and in our last episode, we stopped by the city of Squin. This is a city occupied by the Shex people. I mentioned in the last episode that Shex uh, reminds me kind of like orcs in most of the fantasy uh, RPG games, where they're like this really proud and tough warrior race people. Yeah, we got here and you know they don't really like humans they call humans flat skin which I don't know what that means <laughs> but I'm assuming that they're trying to be rude and mean and offensive so you know I've decided that uh, Psych doesn't really like these people because they've been rude to him ever since he got to the city and yeah we've just been stealing from them uh, mostly from one of the residents across the street from this bar uh, we picked the lock, went in there, and knocked one of them out, and stole a lot of his gears. Uh, and here are the uh, big sword, the plank. It's a heavy weapons plank. And yeah, it's got a pretty nice sell value. Uh, we can sell it for about 932 cats, which is not bad. And I decided to go ahead and... After I've been thinking about the mask because uh, yeah, they, although the uh, the ninja mask gives us a uh, cut resistance, um, but I think I want to go ahead and use this one because this also has cut resistance and stuff. Now, what makes what I like more about this is the uh, the one hundred percent weather protection. You know, I don't think I've ever seen any dust storms or gas or whatever, but I figured that if that does happen, because we're in the desert. It seems like we're in the desert at least. Uh, yeah, dust storm sounds like something that would happen in the desert. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the fog mask. And another thing that I thought about is that I'm gonna actually hold on to most of these nice gears for any recruits that we might be able to find. Just because I realized that if we do get new teammates they're gonna need uh, need gears so yeah I'm gonna just uh, pass on over some of these ge nice gears to our teammates yeah it's gonna help them out and close these out and then, and then yeah let's uh, continue so I've decided to travel between these two cities just because I'm assuming that if I sell the stolen stuff in the same city, they might kind of catch on to me, and you know I'm, they might try to arrest me too, which I don't want that. And another good thing about traveling back and forth is that it's gonna give my character a chance to skill up his athletic skills, stealth, and possibly strength. A, you know, possibly. So, I just got some uh, people coming. Oh, there's a big group of people here. Uh, huh. Well, let's see if uh, any of them wants to join me here. Shack Warrior. Eight. Hello. Looking for fresh recruits. That's right. Three thousand cats. I don't have that money. What about you? All wrong. Flatskin, how about earning yourself the loyalty of a Shek warrior? Okay, go on. I need to be freed. 3,500 cats to free me from my lord. Let me fight for you, outsider, as a mighty warrior once again. Peasant life is killing my soul. I need to battle. E really want to help you but don't have the money Naruka looking at my horns flat skin uh no yeah I was just thinking about stuff nah I wasn't actually looking at her horns good don't because I can still prove my worth in battle without them I have a question for you flat skin what do you do if you are outnumbered on the battlefield if I'm outnumbered Probably fight tactically, take out the weakest opponent first. 
yeah, if I can, if I'm capable, yeah, that's what I'll do. But at the moment, yeah, I I tell her out of here. <laughs> so I've been a choice. You keep fighting till the end. Uh, that's a little bit here, skater. Surrender and hope your life will be spared. Play dead and return for their heads another day. I'm gonna go with the first one because that's how I would be fighting if I were stronger. Truth. We must even the odds against us when our situation looks bleak. We fight the enemy to the death, and we fight with honor on the battlefield. <laughs> dot dot dot. But I didn't die. I awoke, surrounded by death, but still alive. They labeled me a deserter and cut my horns on my return. I'm no longer a warrior, but a servant. But you fought bravely. You didn't deserve that. Yeah. Perhaps, either way, I will not remain here as an unclad warrior. But you, you seem different to the other outsider I've met. Flatskin, let us band together. I'm intrigued to fight alongside you. Okay, that would be an honor. Alright. Ruka, she's a female Shek. Ah, that is nice. We got our first recruits. This is pretty cool. Let's see. Hit points, toughness, attack, strength, dexterity. Now, these are negatives. Uh, dexterity, athletics. So she's going to be a bit slow, not stealthy. She's not going to be a farmer. She's not going to be a thief. Uh, bad scientists or robotics laboring and dodging uh, okay so yeah kind of all around um, mostly just you know being like a tank character I guess because she's strong and tough I mean I don't really mind does it give us more option for the horns nah alright I'll just keep it as is I mean keep her as is confirm you've just hired your first recruit alright you can select different squad members by clicking on their icons in the squad panel or using the number keys or by left click dragging over the in-game character and select your new recruit you can check your character skill statistics by opening the stat menu from the command menu. To perform first aid, exchange inventory item, guard, follow, and carry squad member. Hold the right click on them or on their portrait to bring up the interaction menu. Oh, cause I, oh, okay, alright. <laughs> uh, we can trade items. Oh, okay, oh yeah, this is nice. Give her this thing, this armor, because we don't have any armor here for her. And the planks. They're the same thing. Oh, they are the same. Or her plank is actually m more valuable than the one I stolen. What else can I get for? Oh, the mask. Now she's a ninja. Tank. What about the boots? Which boot is better? Actually, I want to give her the sandals so she can run faster. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's definitely going to help her movement speed. What about the, the protection? Cut resistance. And this one has no protection. Oh. Probably want her to, her to have more protection. Because she's going to be like a tank character. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll just uh, have her keep that boots on. Oh wait, this one is actually. This boot might be better, huh? So this is 15 percent, eighty percent, nope, but then this is a standard grade, wonder why, oh because this is a medium armor class, and this is a light armor class, 
Okay, so 17 and 15. So this is actually a little bit better. Let me just switch out the boot. And I guess she can use one of the ninja blades too for her secondary weapon. There you go. Alrighty. This is good. We got a recruit. I am happy about that. Arrange and rename different squad via the squad menu. So that's the squad menu. Okay, so we can name the squad. I'll just call it squad for now. Squad 1. There. I'll change it when I think of a better name. And finish. Finish. All right, now let's go talk. No, I talked to Ato already. King, looking for protection, Alcaz. Maybe you got any skills? I'm a ship warrior, Alcaz. Do you really need to ask? Lose the attitude, and maybe we can work something out. I change for no one. You either hire me or you walk away. And in the latter case, you'll die a fool. How much are you charging? 6,000 cats. Fighting alongside the outcasts will be a new experience. I don't have enough. And that's the bar man. He's gonna be mad at me forever. Hey, maybe if our recruit talks to him. Oh, will you? Ah! Still doesn't like me. What if I go outside and then Ruka goes inside? Nope. So because Psyche is a thief and Ruka is with Psyche, uh, yeah, we can't buy or sell anymore at the bar. So that's a uh, I guess train Luca up on her still too then. It's cause uh we're gonna have to stay together. I think that's the one where they can yeah, they're gonna move at the same speed. So let's go back to the hub and keep our eyes out on for some bandit. Now is that gonna train up her stealth? Yes it is. What about Thedex? Yep, that's doing good. Strength. Ooh, there's a Garu. Definitely don't want to mess with these guys for now. So Ruka is a better fighter than me already. Just need to make sure she gets a little bit more stealthy and runs a bit faster. But the Psyche is, has stronger strength still. Whoa, hold on. What is that sound? Oh, okay, and just the Garu is making a weird sound and we got a bone dog over here. Let's check him out. Can grab his letter, some meat, and animal teeth. I'll take it. The Ruka's stealth is going up very very slowly. That's okay, as long as her athletics goes up. Cause in case we get in trouble, she needs to be able to run fast and get out of the danger. But now the good thing is that we got two people, so as long as one of them survives, we can always come back and rescue the other one. So, yeah, I think the more recruit that we get, the better it's gonna be. I have to imagine, like, you know, Psyche is like a ninja in training, I guess, and he's a uh, teaching Ruka the way of the ninjas because Ruka is still like a tank, like a warrior tank. Psych is not that strong, you know, head-on combat wise so he has to be stealthy and cunning to survive in this dangerous world of Kenshi well, Ruka is more naturally gifted, so she can fight head-on better. But, 
because uh, she's now following Psyche. Psyche is now training her to be a ninja. That's how I like to imagine it. But of course, we're gonna keep her, you no, know, keep her using the the plank weapon. That's uh, pretty cool to have like a heavy weapons class. And she'll still. Oh, we got some people going here. Who are them? Oh, escaped holy nation outlaws. So I remember that our reputation with them went up to a five. I don't know how, but yeah, they're not gonna attack me, so I don't need to worry about them. Let's go to our shinobi tower to fence. Ooh, there's something going on here. Hungry bandit leader. Bandit. That's the shinobi thieves guild boss. Uh, I might need to go back on my boss then. Yeah. Looks like they're going out. Alright, yeah, they're they're fighting. Okay, I'm gonna slow down time. And let's uh fight this guy. Oh I can talk to him. Okay, let's talk. See what he's got gotta say. Hand over your food and nobody dies. Yeah, you <laughs> look half day, you're in no condition to fight me. Yeah, I'm gonna go with your half day because uh I got all these ninjas uh coming over to back me up. All I give a shit about is filling my stomach. Put your sword away, I can help you. Eat a cactus runs. I worked hard for my food. I have nothing to give. I'm not worth fighting. Uh yeah, go eat a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Their eyes dart around. Say size up, size up your squad. Ooh. Today isn't our day. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna just because they're fighting the ninjas already, so let's just fight them. Whack. I got a psycho hit in his stomach. Alright, so he, the leader went down. Let's grab his stuff. And that's the only val thing valuable. And that's worth taking. And it looks like the ninjas has taken care of this guy. Or loot him next. Attack him. It's a 2v1 situation now. Ooh, Psyche is getting hurt. Go down block mode here. Ruka just got injured in her leg. Alright, Psyche. You can fight again. Oh, ouch. Alright, I think I'm gonna have him run out here and bandage. Alright, let's loot this one. They're kinda just rolling down the hill. They're on loot this bandit next. Okay. I think that's everybody. I got all of their weapons. Let's go and sell it. Is that that? Sh yeah, that's that Shinobi citizen guy. He's alive. That is good. Squint. What happened to him? Why does his name sound familiar to me? Ninja Guard. Dang, how fast can he run? 24 miles per hour. Yeah, that's way faster than both Psyche and Ruka. Oh, let's just go 
and sell what I got so far. Need to empty my inventory. Oh, there is some more fighting going on. Hungry bandit. I think I missed him. Didn't I get to loot that guy? Oh, and I missed this one too. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna go and empty my inventory. Come back out later and check for more people to loot. Alright, where is the trader? Jaguard. Thief boss. Thief trader is apparently not in here. Is that him? No, that's just a guard. Maybe he went out fighting. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on over here. I didn't even see this battle over here. Oh my gosh. And one of our shinobi thieves is knocked out. Well, I'm gonna go and sell at the bar then, because I can't locate the uh, the ninja trader. No, that's the thief boss. Who is this? There he is. Uh, gotta slow down time. There's a lot happening <laughs> in the hub right now. Uh, anything good? Take a look. A more ninja blades. Got a katana. That's pretty. Okay, let's let's just sell these bandit stuff first. And I don't need that because Ruka's got a better plank. Yeah, point five two, point six. Point, yeah, so Ruka's got a better plank. Horse chopper, sell the iron clubs, sell that, sell that. Letter. Sell, sell. Fabric, sell. Alright, this is much better. And I might need to buy another backpack for Ruka. Let's see what else he's got here. Dark leather shirts. That's very expensive. Okay, I'll buy another backpack for Ruka. Alright, I think the backpack is a better investment right now. Because then Ruka can carry more stuff too. Alright, now Ruka needs to sell his stuff. And sell that boots. Sell the sandals. Which is sell these stuff first. Yeah, I guess we can sell that sandal. That's pretty common on the thief. I mean, not the thief, the, the bandit bosses. And that's all I need for now. Okay, let's trade with Psyche. And she's gonna need a backpack. I'm gonna split up the food evenly. And yeah, I think everybody needs to hold on to a med kit. Okay, looks pretty good. Our inventory is pretty emptied out. And we'll continue looting. Uh, this is a bunch of bandits causing an issue in the in the city here. We'll go ahead and loot this guy. How's that guy doing? Oh, that's that bandit leader. But I just check again, just make sure. Yep, it's the same guy. Was in yeah, there's somebody here. Almost missed that guy. Oh, this is a standard grade. Nice. And why is this better than all the other bandits? stuff. 80% cut protection. Yeah, I think my assassin's rack is nicer, but what about the pants? It's just a regular pants. Okay, let's check out this guy next. Classic surgeon came out to fight too. wonder if this is like the same 
group of bandits as the other one. It probably is. So many iron clubs to loot. Alright, I think that's everybody. Oh, we gotta heal up Luca's uh, right leg. Okay, so now that we checked out everybody, let's see what these guys have. Don't want to get caught there by the thieves. Alright, let's see what they use Ninja Blade, Ninja Mask. Ninja Gee. Wear this and you will be a real ninja. Warning, not a substitute for real ninja training. Ninja pants and turtleneck shirt. He's in a recovery coma. I guess I can steal this and sell it too. Huh. 57 cats, 50 cats, 12, 75. Guess that's the only one that's worth taking then. I'm gonna be scared that they're gonna get mad at me. Cause I uh, really don't want to make an enemy out of these guys. 372 cats. I'm not gonna risk it for that. 372 cats. So, let's just go back to the bar and sell those iron clubs. Azuruka needs to... Well, she, ne she needs a lot more training to do. In terms of her... Um, athletics and stealth. Uh, who are these guys? Have I talked to them? A pacifier. Bar thug. Yeah, I talked to those guys already. Just sell the iron clubs, clubs to the barman. What does he have? Oh, he's got the nice katanas. Ah, it's okay. I already got the ninja blade, so... Don't need... The katanas. The preacher. Hiver. Okay, so those are the bug people, the hivers. Hell, like a stick man. What more do you want me to say? Leader of growing nature cults, thought to be responsible for the disappearance of over hundreds of travelers in the desert region, must be returned to the police alive for interrogation. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that bounty around, keep an eye out for a hiver. What else do we need? Do we need food? That's expensive. I'll just cook my meats. Alright, so I think, oh uh, yeah, they got these campfires going on. Oh, there's a shack person in here, is that? No. Just a holy citizen. Does that belong to anybody? No, nope. yeah, I'll just cook over here. Alright, so we got food. And let's see, what should we do next? I think all of my inventory is pretty cleared out. Yeah, pretty much. So, how's Ruka's skills doing? Yeah. Uh, our athletics went up by a lot. The stealth also went up. Yeah, I think uh, she can be a ninja pretty soon. Still has a long way to catch up to Psyche. But that's okay. Maybe we should just like roam around and look for more bandits to fight, I guess. My plan for now, I guess, is to just keep roaming around for more bandits. Holy Nation Outlaws. Oh, those are the Bowmans. Right about... Oh, there, there's that bar there. 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and just head back to Squin. Keep my eyes out for bandits to possibly attack. Who is this guy? Hungry Bandit Leader. I think we're gonna need to own sneak to catch up to that guy. Oh, he's dying now. Ah, whatever. Gotta go this way anyways. Yeah, most of them are just dying. Is he dying too? Oh, he is dying too. Ah, can't fight him now. Ah, starving bandit. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. And then, uh, I'm gonna get Ruka to practice her stealth kill. Cause, uh, she's got a lot. She's running. I mean, she's sneaking very slowly. <laughs> so Sykes just gonna watch from afar to see how Ruka deals with that. Okay, Sykes need to um, need to stay a bit close to Ruka just in case things goes wrong. Just giving her some lessons in assassination. Ruka still doesn't know how to sneak faster. Alright, so she just attempted to stealth KO, but it failed. Now let's see how she handles this. But that's gonna get her combat skill up. I guess Sykes should join in too, because Ruka's combat skills is actually better than Sykes. So yeah, Psych needs to come in and get some more experience here. All right. So this uh, yeah, Benis Band is probably dying now. So we'll go ahead and just continue our way down to Squin. That was a good assassination attempt by Ruka. She still has a lot to learn from Psyche before she becomes a full-fledged ninja. Oh, she wasn't even sneaking the whole time. <laughs> oh, there's a bone dog here. Can they take on the bone? Oh, that's a pup. Oh, we might be able to take on this pup bone dog. Now is this pack nearby? Oh no, his pack is nearby. Okay, we gotta slow it down. Oh, okay, Psyche is uh, not doing good here. Ah, uh, run! Okay, move this one. Heal up Psyche and Ruka. Oh shoot! Okay, we need to we need to just go in together here. Man, that that bone dog is really tough. Ouch! Uh, okay, we Ruka's got to run for it. Ah, that was a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Oh, is she gonna die? Are we both gonna die? Go, 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 Ruka, go! You have to survive. Good thing she's running a lot faster than the bone dog, cause yeah, the bone dog's leg is injured. That's why. Now my worry is that the bone dog might come and eat Psyche. Okay, let's bandage up Ruka here.
need to pick up Psyche. Okay, Psyche's awake. Can he bandage himself? Yes, he can. Alright, that's good. Uh, we survived that encounter. And that's uh, kind of incredible that we still can't take on the bone dog still. Even with two people. Alright, we gotta regroup. And then go in back into town. And what is going on over here? Starving bandit leader. He doesn't have any gear on him. I suppose we can fight him. Oh, Psyche is running so fast. I wonder why he doesn't have any gear. Maybe he just got released from jail? Alright, since he doesn't have any weapon, and he's by himself, and quite injured, I think I'm gonna do some martial arts training. Oh, Ruka can't do it. Alright, well, we'll get Psyche to do some martial arts training then. And we'll just have Ruka go on the side to watch. Passive, because Ruka keeps wanting to attack. All right, you went down. Quit our sword back on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just have uh, both of them rest up in the bed, in the beds, to heal up, because uh, they're both quite injured, and Ruka lost a lot of blood. Now the issue with uh, with Ruka is that her plank is too big. She can't unequip it. Who is this? Oh, wandering assassin. Can we talk to him? Because we're in the shinobi's guild. Nope. Oh, he's also going into town. My bones grow stiffer by the day. When is the next battle? Alright, where is the bar? Actually, that bar guy doesn't like me. Is there any free beds? The bed's up here. I'll rent the bed here. Shop guard. Show me what you got. I just a bunch of food. Okay, that's the same bounty that I got. Another hornless. Yes, I am. Three thousand cats. Don't have the money. Oh, that's Meow. I talked to Meow. And Fumin. Don't remember Fumin. No thing you two about medicine. Ooh. Ah, six thousand cats. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. Yep, six thousand cats still. Let's talk to Meow again. 3,000 cats. Alright. I think the medicine guy is pretty cool. Hire a medicine guy. Just to be like a, a medic. Or like a scientist. Or when we get a base. For now, we need to rest. And heal our injuries from the bone dog. 100 cats. 100 cats. I'll go ahead and pay that 500 cuts. Alright, so we'll go ahead and just let both of them rest and heal up. And we'll go ahead and just end it here. And the next time, let's see what our plan is for next time. Oh, actually, yeah, I know what we can do. We'll go ahead and go back here. Oh, whenever Psyche heals up, we'll have him go back to the house in front of the bar and just steal more stuff to sell.
Oh, he hired a guard. <laughs> huh. That might be a little difficult to sneak in there. But I also don't know how long he'll be here. Maybe I can do something to cause some sort of distraction. Get him to leave his post. Or something. Yeah, I'll think about something. Something to get in there again. Yeah, I had to figure out some way to get rid of him. Yeah, see what other what other stuff we can loot. And that's gonna be our plan for next time. Yeah, so we're going to just end the video here and I'll see you guys next time.